Hello everyone, it's Shane Conto, your Way Slam reviewer, and I'm here to review Season 1 of Amber Brown on Apple TV+. And this series focuses on a young girl named Amber, played by Carson Rose, who, first off, is absolutely adorable and endearing, and I think she really makes this series a lot. I think she does such a great job. And you have this young girl who... She's dealing with the divorce of her parents. Her dad is finally moving back home after being abroad. Her mom now dating this new guy, getting engaged. And her best friend moving away and trying to make new friends. And all of this stuff happening to her in her life. And what I appreciate about this is... So this is from creator Bonnie Hunt, who been involved in a lot of different kinds of things and she has a story here and it deals with a lot of important issues like processing divorce is a big thing losing your best friend that's a big thing and trying to process your parents trying to move on and potentially having new people in their lives that's a big thing and this show deals with those things in a very earnest and meaningful way it doesn't sugarcoat it, it doesn't make it silly, it knows when to tackle something in a meaningful way without sugarcoating it or diluting it. And with Bre uh, Rose at the center here giving such a great and charming performance, there's so many specific things, like you see these hand-drawn pictures of her processing like what's going to happen in her head, and they're endearing and add some lovely texture to the show. She has these talking straight to the camera moments and giving her like inner monologues. And I think those work really well here. I like uh, Liliana Inouye, who plays Brandy, her new friend. They have a lot of great energy together. Sarah Drew plays her mom. I think she does a really great job. Ashley Williams, who's her aunt, Pam, she... She brings a lot of charm to this series. Uh, Michael Yo, who plays her dad, does a fine job. And Darren Brooks, who plays Max, the new man in her mom's life. I think all the adults do a fine job here. It really is Rose's show, though. And for good reason, because she does a great job here. Each episode's 22 to 24 minutes. It moves quick. It has a nice little message in each episode, what you expect from like a kid's show. But this doesn't quite feel just like a kid's show. I think it's a nice little family series that you can enjoy. I enjoyed it, honestly, and earnestly. I think this is a show that has great messages, has strong performances, and has a decent amount of personality that he brings to the table to make it stand out a bit. And I'd love to see more of what Carson Rose winds up doing. And there's a lot to appreciate and we'll just have to see. Hopefully there gets another season, and I'll be first in line to be checking out Season 2 of Amber Rose. But those are my thoughts on Amber Rose Season 1. Let me know what you think. Let's talk some movies and TV. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.